morning, let us now begin our morning praise. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. They listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not go stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Christ, in whose passion once was sown, all virtue of all saints to be, for the white field of this thy own, we, pray, we praise the seed, and so were thee. Thine was the first and holiest grain, to die and quicken and increase. And then came these and died again, that spring and harvest should not cease. From thee, the martyrs, we from the those, each in thy graces measure spring. Their strength upon our weakness flows and guide us to the goal we sing. These were thy great ones, we thy list, one in desire and faith with them, called by the Lord to keep one feast, journey to one Jerusalem. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Like the deer that yearns for running stream, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread, by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? This, these things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep. In the roar of the water, in the roar of the waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day, the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night, I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hoping God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Hope in God. Glory 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So now that the surging waves of our indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always, like the deer for running streams, until you satisfy every longing in heaven. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all our nations in dread of you. Raise your hands against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know as we know that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the works of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom, coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. To enlighten the world, Father, you sent to us your word as the sun of truth and justice, shining upon mankind. Illumine our eyes that we may discern your glory in the many works of your hand. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions, and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from Him. As we have shared much in the suffering of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in His consolation. The just are the friends of God. They live with Him forever. Are the friends of God. They live with Him forever. God Himself is their reward. They live for Him forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The just are the friends of God. They live with Him forever. Blessed are those who, who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heavens is theirs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. We to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to guide, to guide, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Our Savior has made us a nation of priests to offer acceptable sacrifice to the Father. Let us call upon Him in gratitude. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of His witnesses who shed their blood for the Word of God. Let us praise Him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. You redeem us with your blood. Your martyrs freely embraced death in bearing witness to the faith. Give us the true freedom of the Spirit, O Lord. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs professed their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs wash their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. You redeemed us by your blood. Let us now pray as Christ the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you enable St. Sixtus and companions to lay down their lives for your word in witness to Jesus. Give us the grace to believe in you and the courage to protect our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
and give him thanks. Good morning. Please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, She conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. To the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our morning offering. O Jesus, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, I offer them for all the intentions of our sacred heart, the salvation of souls, the reparation for sins, and the reunion of all Christians, I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all our parishioners, and in particular for the intentions of our Holy Father for this month. We pray the World Youth Day in Lisbon will help young people to live and witness the gospel in their own lives. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is Monday, the memorial of St. Sixtus II and Companions. St. Sixtus was ordained bishop of the Church of Rome in 257. The following year, while celebrating the sacred liturgy in the cemetery of St. Callistus, he was arrested by soldiers carrying out the edict of the Emperor of Valerian. On the same day, August 6, he was put to death along with four deacons. He was buried in the same cemetery. Let us welcome our presiding priest, Father Rolly Agustin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us recall to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, my in my thoughts and, and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done and what I have, have failed to do. 
through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pray. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray, Almighty God, make us docile in believing the faith and courageous in confessing it, just as you have granted Saint Sixtus and his companions that they might lay down their lives for the sake of your word and it witness to Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The children of Israel lamented, Would that we had meat for food. We remembered the fish we used to eat without cost in Egypt, and the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now we are famished. We see nothing before us but this manna. Manna was like coriander seed and had the color of resin. When they had gone about and gathered it up, the people would grind it between millstones or pound it in a mortar, then eat it in a pot, in a pot and make it into loaves, which tasted like cakes made with oil. At night, when the dew fell upon the camp, the manna also fell. When Moses heard the people, family after family, crying at the entrance of their tents, so that the Lord came very angry, he was grieved. Why do you treat your servant so badly? Moses asked the Lord. Why are you so displeased with me that you burden me with all these people? Was it I who conceived all these people? Or was it I who gave them birth that you tell me to carry them at my bosom like a foster father carrying an infant to the land you have promised under oath to their fathers? Where can I get meat to give to all these people? For they are crying for me. Give us meat for our food. I cannot carry all these people by myself, for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you will deal with me, then please do me the favor of killing me at once, so that I need no longer face this distress. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing with joy to God our help. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies against their foes, I would turn my hand. Sing with joy to God our help. Those who hated the Lord would seek to flatter me, but their faith would endure forever, since is while Israel I would feed with the best of wheat and with honey from the rock I would fill them. Sing with joy to God our help. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone but on every ma on but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here. He has said the blessing, broke the loaves, gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the garment, the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. They ate and had enough. The 1984 Christian Christmas issue of Newsweek ran this advertisement asking people to help Ethiopian famine victims. Right now, according to the news, giant cargo planes are delivering enough food to feed tens of thousands of hungry people a day. Here is how you can help. Your gift of $15 is all it takes to feed the hungry child for a, mom, for a month. Please give whatever you can now. The brutal fact is that 6 million people were starving in 1984. It keeps us from helping such people. Gathered like the crowd fell and hungry for the word of God. We turn now with confidence to our Heavenly Father who never fails his people in their need. As we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may bear witness in word and deed to God's love and concern for the hungry and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders and all who hold positions of great power may help distribute the world's resources in such a way that no country may be in danger of famine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may be men and women of prayer and that we may be prepared to give of our time and talents to help those searching for the meaning of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may experience the sustaining love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy forever 
the eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let's pray for own personal intentions, the Mass intentions for today, and for those people, we promise to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, be mindful of us who are in need of your mercy. Fill our hearts with love and never allow us to be separated from you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that these are sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant a joyful outcome to our prayers, O Lord, so that we, who each year devoutly honor the day of the Passion of the holy martyrs Sixtus and companions may also imitate the constancy of their faith through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Sixtus and companions, pour out like Christ to glorify your name. Shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you prefer you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this kiss, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with Saint James and the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Sixtus, companion martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 